Number eight. 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 So today I'm going to show you a trick called the flirt flip. It is uh, one of my favorite responsive uh, freehand moves. Boop. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to teach you how to do it. The flirt flip is obviously going to be kind of a mid-air flip. Um, what's actually happening though is you are doing a flip on two axes. Axes? Axes? Axi. Axes. You're doing a flip and you're going to, uh, the, the, the counterweight is going to travel around on this direction, but the yo-yo is going to flip 90 degrees. And so what that's going to do is it's going to go up and turn and catch. Now, one of the reasons for that is because if you just do this flip midair and you catch it, you kind of see you're on the wrong side to throw it again. You could still throw it. But that kind of throw, the kind of, uh, you know, it's just the wrong way to throw. You want to throw um, with the string on this side. Now, again, it'll work. You can kind of do it. You can kind of pull it off. The other thing is um, if you do it like that, you kind of have to like re-throw it again to kind of get it into the next position. But there's one other reason the flirt flip is awesome. And that's because when you do that, uh, that flip, that kind of 90 degree rotation while the counterweight's going around, you'll get this really cool kind of mid-air pop to it. Something that just is really hard to describe. So I'm gonna show you kind of the difference between uh, just a release and catch and then the flirt flip. Okay. Boop. Here's the regular. Here's the flirt. So in my mind, the flirt flip has this kind of midair pop, like popcorn exploding or something. It just feels more exciting. To do the trick, uh, what I like to do is do a breakaway and then catch it palm down. Uh, this way, uh, when you catch the yo-yo, if you let go, the string is wrapped up on this side. So I'm going to throw, catch. Now, uh, this way, you can let go. And to practice this trick, we are going to just practice that first flip, not the, not the, the flirt flip. We're just going to practice the first flip just to get used to that. So it's going to be release. All right. You're going to go out, catch it on the sides. You're going to let go of the yo-yo while doing that flip. You can start that flip right before and you don't have to throw it very hard. And you can kind of see when you do that toss, Sometimes the yo-yo doesn't want to wind out right, and that's why we do the flirt flip. But for practicing, you know, just practice trying to keep the yo-yo on a plane. Keep that yo-yo facing this way. <laughs> why do we suddenly go out of focus? Okay. Once you have that, the next move is going to be adding that little flip to the wrist. So I'm going to let go. I'm going to start that that letting go. I'm going to start that. And then right before I let go of the yo-yo, I'm going to give it one quick flip. And the nice thing is this motion of the counterweight spinning has a lot of energy to it. That's going to help correct your, your plane. It's going to help straighten the yo-yo. So you don't have to do an actual 90 degree flip. You don't have to like get that perfectly. What'll happen is you'll let go. You'll flip the yo-yo a little bit. And then this motion is going to want to correct the yo-yo for you. And that's what gives everything its cool look. So you just need to give it just enough of a toss for it to start flipping over. So again, I'm releasing and then I'm letting go. And when I let go, I'm just, I mean, th that looked like a lot of spins. You're really not doing a lot of spins. You're doing just enough so that the yo-yo flips over. And then the yo-yo yo -yo counterweight is going to straighten it back up which is the cool part. It's gonna straighten it up and then you just catch the counterweight. Really kind of downwardly grab the yo-yo and that's what helps throw it too. And you'll see for me, the counterweight does that circle and then it kind of starts to travel in a straight line. And you'll, you'll probably see that too. The, the counterweight's not going to infinitely spin around. 
Uh, and what it's going to want to do is it's going to do one full flip and then it's going to start kind of that, that process downward uh, or whichever direction you kind of happen to throw it. For me, it always tends to kind of want to go around and then shoot downward. So I just scoop it with my, with my throw hand. So when you do a flirt flip, you can do it just straight back into your hand. But I think it's good practice to kind of get used to tying this into a combo, something like this. Uh, I did want to give a shout out to Show One Leather Shop, who makes these amazing counterweights out of leather. I love them. Uh, I personally like uh, rounded counterweight when I'm doing freehand. And the leather is also very forgiving. Uh, you might hear it when you kind of uh, hit it. It's just a kind of thud, you know? Uh, when you hit yourself with some other counterweights, it can really crack your knuckle or whatever. Huge fan of these. Uh, these are made in Japan, and I don't think they make a ton of them, but I'll drop a link to the Instagram in the comments below. And that's the flirt flip. I hope you like it. Uh, please enjoy. <laughs> 